I would be the first up in the game. Like hey, it's Ryan. I'm here at the Queen's Winter Ball in Astoria. And a lot of people think about Queen's Pride. Well, they think about Jackson Heights because that's where the parade runs through. Ladies and gentlemen, let's figure all that out right now with Danny Drum. How are you? Hi, all right. I'm doing well. How are you? Good Danny, to see you. Danny, I can't even begin to run through your laundry list. All the things that you do, which are the most important to you? This organization is probably one of the most important things that I do. It's probably one of the most fun things to do. And this is Queen's Lesbian Pride. and Gay Pride Committee. It was one of the first organizations founded in the borough. And uh, we produced the annual Pride Parade in Jackson Heights. Which is one of my favorite events. Multicultural, every language spoken. But right now, it's cold. We're January, February. That event is in June. How do you get so many people out to the Queen's Winter Pride Ball? Well, people understand, I think, the importance of the Queen's Pride Parade. And this is our main fundraiser for the Queen's Pride Parade. And there's enthusiasm for the Queen's Pride Parade because I think it has a wonderful mixture of people. It's a wonderful mixture of party and politics. And I think people genuinely have a good time. And this fundraiser in and of itself, I think, is a fun event. So people enjoy it. And this event is in Astoria. Now, I have heard a lot of negative criticism that the event is in Jackson Heights and doesn't represent all of Queens. And now you've moved out of Jackson Heights for this event. How do you address so many people's desires for what they want their parade to be? We, we do. You're right. In the, in, the, in the beginning, even the beginning of the parade, there was criticism that it was in Jackson Heights. But you know what? Jackson Heights is one of the most diverse communities in, in, in the whole world, actually. It's a district that I'm interested in running around for city council. Which is where I'm going after this event. I can't wait. I love Jackson Heights. I'm not speaking for myself. So everybody is welcome in Jackson Heights. And I think that's one of the reasons why we selected Jackson Heights in the first place, because it's such a diverse community. Now let's talk about, you've had great people on your stage at the Jackson Heights Parade. You had La India, Oro Sodalito, you've had uh, Brenda K. Star. Where can people find out about your event? When is the parade? Where do we go? Sure. The parade is always the first Sunday in June, but they can go to uh, www.queenspride.com or they can call 718-457-2928. That's my home number, so don't call after 11 at night. Now Danny, if I don't live in Queens and this community does not represent me, will I have a good time coming Come in your event that Saturday or Sunday? Everybody Why? comes to the event in choice because it's so multicultural. It's so different even from the Manhattan Parade. It's just a whole different atmosphere. It still remains somewhat radical to march in the Queen's Pride Parade. There's that element. Yet there's an awful lot of fun to being involved in this parade. Now where did the idea come from with the Winter Pride Ball? What is this? Well, the, the name in particular was something that we wanted to do. We wanted to, the Prides usually happen in the summer. So we said, well, why can't we have a Winter Pride event? And that's where the name of this event came up. So it's a way to bring all of the communities together in Queens. There are people here from Astoria, from Forest Hills, from Jamaica, from Jackson Heights. And uh, to show, even to show the politicians, the large numbers of people that we have. We have about 400 people here tonight. And that's why it's such a great event. Now, do people find out about you as a politician via the Pride Parade website? Or is it a different way to find more about sure. Danny Drum? To find out about Danny Drum, you can always go to www.danieldrum, let me spell it, D-A-N-I-E-L-D-R-O-M-M, -M -M, it's the unusual spelling, um, dot com, and you can find out about, you know, what's happening in terms of my political career. So, but my political career is an outgrowth of the Queen's Primary. I never expected to find myself in this position. So, but it's good, it gives me a lot of energy, and I look forward to the race, which is coming up in September of 2009. Now, we all know once I skip out of this event, I'm headed to Jackson Heights, but Daniel, as a representative of Queens, what's something else, because the event has gotten a lot of negative criticism that is Jackson Heights focused, what's something other things that you like about Queens? I love Queens because Queens, again, is the most diverse borough in all of the world. You come here, you have everything that you want, need, desire. You don't even have to pay any more to go on a vacation because whatever you want to see, whatever you want to do, it's right here in Queens and even more importantly, it's right here in Jackson Heights. Well, where else should I go though? I'm, I'm, we're going travel right now. Politics and travel have just converged. Where should I go if I want to celebrate? In Jackson Heights? Chinese, no, no, Chinese New Year's in Queens. In Flushing. Flushing. Take the number seven train to the end. You, got, you get the uh, Asian community. You go down the number seven train, you hit every community that exists in the world. Dominicans at 103rd Street. You got lesbian and gay people at 82nd Street. 74th Street is still part of Jackson Heights, but you're beginning to have an even larger Asian population. Irish you pubs. Irish pubs. Irish pubs exist in Woodside on 61st Street on the number seven line. I'm Greek. Where do I go? Astoria. <laughs> Danny Drum, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Celebrating the Queen's Winter Pride Parade. I put him on the spot. No edits, and he delivered. Till next time.